everyone, it's Madison Jessiato coming to you once again with the good news. You know, I know we're all so excited for Thanksgiving week. It's certainly my favorite holiday of the year and of course some of the best food. Uh, but some of us may not be traveling to visit family like we normally would as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. So I linked a really great article on the first good news section of the website uh, talking about 15 of the greatest movies to watch during Thanksgiving. You're going to want to check these out. Some of these I haven't even seen and plan to watch this week. So be sure to get on there. Uh, check out our website. Check out that good news section where I link a lot of the stories I talk about in the videos as well as some others that maybe haven't been in the good news segment. So be sure to get on there uh, during Thanksgiving week. And of course, as always, we continue to see good news stories happening all across the country. Uh, stories of hope, stories of positivity, things that aren't being featured on the mainstream media. So I'm back to share a couple of my favorites with you. Starting in my home state of Ohio, uh, Chibata, who is the longest resident at the Franklin County Animal Shelter in Columbus, Ohio, has now been adopted. They nicknamed him Mr. Personality. He's been there for over two years and he has now found his forever home. Take a quick look at this picture. He's so adorable and we're so happy uh, to hear this great news from Ohio. And I'm here in the state of Florida today and some great news coming out of the state of Florida. Uh, another arrest in a human trafficking sting, actually 170 of them, 170 people arrested as a result of a uh, multiple year uh, human trafficking investigation by Florida authorities. Uh, the victim was a 13-year-old young girl. They followed a long trail of digital evidence, resulting in 106 felonies being charged, including 19 federal charges. Uh, so great news on justice for this young woman, and we'll continue to keep an eye on this story and many of the others uh, that we've seen across the country over the past few months uh, when it comes to arrests in human trafficking. Uh, and of course, we're continuing to see good news when it comes to the vaccine, hopefully getting back to normal soon. Uh, some say that we may be back to normal as early as May, which I'm certainly hoping for, and I'm sure you are as well. We want to get people back to work. Uh, and of course, a lot of that is riding on this vaccine news. So we're waiting for that emergency use authorization on some of these vaccines to be granted so that can start distributions. So we'll keep an eye on that. Of course, in the stock market that continues to rise as well. And as always, if you're seeing stories, uh, good news, hope, positive if you think's not being featured in your communities on the mainstream media, be sure to share them with us so that we can share them with all of our viewers. And we'll be back soon with more good news.